Both these sides went into this with just one win each from their opening four games. Edinburgh started the day bottom of the table, but coach Alan Solomons was able to welcome captain Greg Laidlaw back to the starting lineup after injury for the first time since the summer. Cardiff boss Phil Davies said he was putting out his strongest side, with Gethin Jenkins back for his first start since his return from Toulon. And by contrast, Corey Allen was making his first ever start, having scored in his previous game away to Leinster off the subs bench. On a lovely afternoon for rugby, it was the home side who made the initial running. The Edinburgh defenders were penalised for not releasing as Cardiff pressurised the Scots just outside their 22. The Halfpenny made them pay with a well-struck penalty, four minutes gone, and Blues were three points to nil ahead. In an opening quarter short on chances, Edinburgh were back on level terms in the 16th minute. Laidlaw's kick was excellent to make it 3 0. The Scottish international had scored 360 Pro 12 points before this game, and he had another three here, putting Edinburgh 6 3 ahead in the 24th minute. Almost immediately, a halfpenny penalty at the other end brought it back to 6 all. before Cardiff got the crowd off their seats for the first time on 28 minutes. A tremendous break by Owen Williams set the platform for the try. And it was rounded off superbly by Alex Cuthbert. The British and Irish Lions winger scored a brilliant try the previous week away to Leinster. And this was another clinical finish evading Harry Leonard's tackle for the first try of the match. Great work from the Welsh international winger. Alpany converted for a 13-6 lead, 29 minutes in. Laidlaw reduced the margin once again at the other end. His kicking was very reliable and just before half-time he was successful with another penalty to leave just a point between the sides at the break. Card of 13, Edinburgh 12. Into the second period, Edinburgh were on the front foot. Laidlaw hit the post with a penalty, and a couple of minutes later, the visitors thought that they might have scored a try through debutante flanker Thomas Leonardi, but the ref referred it to the TMO, who correctly ruled that the Argentines' movement was far from immediate, and no try was awarded. Okay, Cardiff survived. Much. It's no score. Ball not played immediately, but the it's a penalty here. 53 minutes, Halfpenny kicked a further penalty to make it 16-12. Maybe not the crispest kick the fullback has ever produced, but it went over and the lead was back to four points. Halfpenny's boot kept the scoreboard ticking over. He added two more penalties to make it 22-12. It was a glorious afternoon for rugby, and the big home crowd were then treated to a glorious try from the Blues. A wonderful team effort that started in their own half. As they spread the ball wide, they still had plenty to do. Sub, Dapit Hewitt found Halfpenny. Sam Warburton did brilliantly. Cuthbert charged under the posts for the best try of the weekend. A killer blow in terms of sealing the win. 66 minutes gone, and when Halfpenny converted, it was 29-12. The value of Cardiff's top players on form apparent in this superbly conceived try. Cuthbert with another spectacular one for his CD. Cuthbert almost got in for what would have been his hat-trick, but when the decision was referred to the TMO, it was ruled that he had failed to get the touchdown. Good work by the Edinburgh defence, just holding him out. No try, held up, scrum five. Yeah. Blues may only have one bonus point win at home since 2009, and they wouldn't get a bonus this time either. But Phil Davies will be delighted his side are back to winning ways and his big name players are delivering. Edinburgh remain bottom of the table and badly in need of points when they play Treviso in their next Pro 12 match at Murrayfield. Final score Cardiff 29, Edinburgh 12.